Hi guys, it's Amber. Sick. Really, really, really sick. Bronchitis. Bleh. I don't feel good. Anyway, I was, I started a video to all of you and I was talking about my little girl, my youngest, my, the one who has my grandbaby. And I was saying that it's really neat to have a relationship with my daughter that, you know, she calls me almost every morning. She tries for every morning. Um, to have coffee together. She gets up way later than I do, so I have to have a cup of coffee that late, too. But, you know, I can live with it. Um, and sometimes she calls me at night to say goodnight. And just as I said that, she called through. So that I could say goodnight to my grandson because I didn't get to say good morning to him today um, because the kids had an appointment. So normally I get to say good morning to my grandson because I don't get to see him. It's a good compromise. Um, so, anyway, what this was about was I watched a, a very old video by Candid Mommy, Jenny, um, where she was talking about moms bullying moms. I mean, this, this is really insane to me because I grew up, well, I'm sorry, my kids grew up. <laughs> Where it was me and my dad that raised them. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I had my dad. Um, so I was a single mom. But they had their grandfather. And he was just amazing. A lot calmer than when he was raising me. I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway. Um, so computers were not prevalent at that time. I had my children in 1988, 89, and 1993. Um, because I have three biological children. I have a lot more kids than that, but those are my biological babies. Let me grab my soda, please. And please forgive me for having a drink of my Diet Cola. It, I have to do this. My throat is just killing me. It's that bad. And I know that's not good for my throat at all. Okay, folks, there we go. So, <clears throat> she's talking about cyber videoing, uh, cyber bullying, and criticizing other mothers. My goodness. When other mothers would try and tell me that I was doing something wrong, I would look at them and tell them, you raise your child your way. I will raise my child my way. They're healthy. They are happy. They are well-adjusted, well-socialized, and very well-loved. They do not want for anything, and they certainly do not need for anything. So, therefore, go take care of your own kids. Um, first of all, I grew up in a Hispanic neighborhood. <clears throat> and although I am one-third Spaniard by blood, my dad was Scotch-Irish Cherokee. So, they had their Sicilian mommy, very, very into my culture, um, but very into my dad's Native American culture and his Scotch-Irish culture, too. So, my kids were raised with a respect that everybody comes from something different and everybody needs to respect everybody else. And I got... very hurt yes I'm still a mom guys just because my kids are adults my baby will be 21 in a few days um so even though my children are adults I'm still a mom and I still get to have a valid opinion in this because I'm also a grandparent and guys, please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm seeing it on the internet. And I'm hugely, hugely insulted and upset by this. Because, you know what? No one knows it all. And I was smart enough to listen to my grandmother and use very old, old, old world ways of raising my children. And they turned out amazing. My kids have never been in trouble with law. 
They never got in trouble at school. Never were suspended. Any of that garbage. Never got in fights in school. Unless somebody else came at them first and hit them first. And that only happened once with my youngest and twice with my son. And that's because they got made fun of for being dyslexic. Not cool. Bullying is just a hateful thing. And when parents do it, it's even worse. It's even worse, guys. So, I've been trying to post videos and been having a huge issue with my internet provider, which is through my telephone and is Sprint, saying that my unlimited data that I pay a fortune for um, is not really unlimited. They considered me to be using too much data from my unlimited. So I moved up to the highest one available. Um, and if I hear that again, I'm going to tangle the hinds with somebody. And they're not going to like me at corporate. Because I will appeal two months worth of bills. And believe me, redheads like to win. My hair does not look red in this light. I'm really sorry. Um... But, seriously, it, just guys, stop it. Raise your own kids, and as long as they are happy, healthy, well-adjusted, well-socialized, and well-loved. And they do not need for anything. Then you're doing it right. Don't sweat the small stuff, guys. Stick to your own lives. Quit being so much of a busybody about everybody else's. That's all I can tell you. If you don't like that, please leave comments. I will respond. But I'm going to warn you, if you ask me a question, you may not like my answer. But it will be honest. It will be very, very, very honest. So one thing I, I refuse to do in my life is ever lie. Life's not worth all the hassles. So... If you're criticizing other parents or other people in general, other cultures, whatever that is, all you're doing is creating drama, dude. Chill. Take a breath. If you gotta be on this planet, why not enjoy the life you have instead of constantly stressing over crap that you don't need to stress over? Life is stressful enough as it is. Deal with it. Have a good night, guys. Please, please, please. I, I would love to hear from everybody. Um... The one lady who has actually commented made me feel incredibly good that I was that I'm going through what I'm going through. Um, my leaving is in a matter of days. It got postponed. Unluckily, we had a problem, and I had to attend to it. There was no way around it. Um, I am going to try and post the past videos, but this one's going out right now. So, because I was just that really, really, really upset me. I just, I couldn't even understand moms being like that toward one another. That's, guys, we need to stick together. We need to raise our kids as a community, really, a world community. So, take it easy, guys. Good night. <laughs>